What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today is a special day. Uh, we're probably going to split this into a few parts, but we have Rift Bosses to do again. Oh, unlucky. But the main thing we're going to be doing today is we got our second Eferia or blue boat part. And we're going to be enhancing that. So we have a lot of random stacks left over. For, I don't even know where they came from, to be honest. But uh, we have them. And we're going to go build it up to plus 10. So previously, our other, like our first prow, uh, we got that to plus 10. It wasn't too bad, honestly. Enhancing boat gear. It was just kind of worse luck than you would expect so anyway let's go let me get all these stacks out of here uh we got these 36 39 15 to 25, we need these. 20 something. 20. 18. And 16. Okay. Alright, let's put. Alright, let's pray that these. Uh, today doesn't go too terribly enhancing. Oh yeah, I forgot we actually need to use the these things. Failing fifty fifties. <laughs> okay. Alright, now, uh, now that we got that the plus five, that actually wasn't too bad. Now we get into the big boy stones. Oh god, it's plus te or ten durability on a fail now. <gasps> what the heck? As usual, I don't really ever know what to do with these Valk's cries anymore because I don't. There's nothing really much for me to enhance these days. It's really all just Capris levels. <laughs> I think we should use a 30. Bob 
by the way, like tomorrow or the next day, we'll get our third boat piece. So we got out. We're gonna enhance that one as well tomorrow, or whenever I get it. Actually, it's to sail, and we need that one. Fifteen percent. Oh my god, such a bad percent. Well, might as well use up these artisans that uh, I've been saving. And then we'll memfrag it up. I would prefer to, you know, not use all 400 memfrags, but you, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. What is the force? 76? Yikes. It's more that I need these frosted stones more than anything. Like, I can buy them, but, you know, I'd prefer to not have to buy them. Why doesn't it go into this? Okay, well. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Eleven percent. Pretend it's rebluff. It goes up. Oh, a one percent on a one stack. Hey, my old cannon sold. Money. Do I have any non-stupid stacks just sitting there? Uh, well, no, we have a 55, but... I, uh... 
Yeah, let's choose the 55. Let's keep this character clean. I actually have to go downgrade some stuff first. And... Uh, we'll be good. So later we're going to do Rift Bosses and then play on our Seizing character again, do the quest thing. I don't know, you guys seem to like it, I think. At least that's how the feedback has been. And we're going to try to do all the Season quests daily. We get all of them 14 full dura for next time. We got black stones. Overall, not too bad. Let me see. How is our barter is doing? Do we need anything today? Uh, octagonal boxes, probably. We did our Hakovin run earlier. Probably use more lavas. Let's, uh,. Material refresh it real quick. Uh, we need. Well, we're actually done with these now. Thank God. All we need are luminous cobalt ingots and red artifacts. Unlucky. No red artifacts today. Also, we need the beginner. Beginner things and. Uh, more frosted black stones. We'll probably need those for a long time. Yeah, that's unlucky. We didn't get any red artifacts today. So here's where we're at, actually. So we got two more boat parts to go to or to go get. Yesterday, or we obviously we are just enhancing the cannon. We still have to get to plus 10. And next is the wind sail. Um... We need 30 cobalt ingots, and we're at 27. So that's probably two days from now. So like today, I'd have to do... I think maybe we can do three refreshes and get them. So probably tomorrow or the day after. And then that'll be our third boat part. And then after that is really just the struggle of... Getting the upgraded plating, which actually is kind of annoying. Like, the hardest thing to, for me, I'm going to have to get are the red artifacts for this plating. Which, if I get unlucky, like I just did here, and not get any in my refreshes, then it's going to take me probably... I get three a day from... The dailies and I have like 30 now so probably another month to get them unlucky so yeah during that next month of going for the fourth part I am probably going to be collecting brilliance and just slowly making our way towards our Carrick. Did I forget to put the thing into storage? No, we're good. So far, we only had to do two, two repairs, but that was with artisans, so actually... Uh-oh, did I leave the artisans on my other character? No, we're just bad and use them all. Okay. <clears throat> I would prefer to not have to use all 62 of these stones for plus 10. That would be nice. Two hundred and thirty. That is about four thousand stones if I were to force it. And you know what's not worth doing? Forcing it. 
I would rather, you know, keep building a stack and having to repair it. Pretend it's Reblath. Yeah, just keep doing that. It goes up 0.10. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to repair this like a little, at least another like four times. I have a feeling. Uh oh. <laughs> This is not the greatest feeling, knowing that it goes up 0.10 per fail. How did I even get a plus 10 last time? It was probably on a 70 stack. I gotta go watch my other video and just see what stack I hit this plus 10 on for the first part. David, my guildies use 40 stacks for plus 10, they said. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna send the people my guildies this video. What is this? How does this happen? Like, what the heck? Yeah, let's just one tap it now. It's at like 8% already, right? That is so awful. Like, it feels so bad doing that. Are we happy? I mean, well, we repaired it to full, so that's good. I don't have to do that again. I just want to say, for all of you who hit your plus 10 blue gear on, like, a 40 stack, I just want to let you know that you're beyond carried, so I don't want to hear it. All right, well, in two days we have to do this again. Is that a fun feeling? Why is everyone's boat parked there? What the heck? Let me just move this around.
Go. Wrong button. Oh, yeah, boys. Two out of four. I actually want to compare this to, uh... Hold on. Is there a way I could... So I had previously a plus six, and that one is 23,000 durability. Uh, 7,500 times one against sea monsters. And 4,800 times one to, like, those gold mont ships and hit damage is 4%. Well, what, I don't, like, it probably is significantly better. Yeah, it is. But we really... We use this for the thousand weight. Like, right now when you're bartering, weight is everything. The damage itself, I mean, it's nice to have, but once you get your character, that's when, like, the numbers change. But we got the... We, I don't care about the durability. I don't care about the rations. The damage is obviously an improvement. The 1,000 extra weight is the one that matters. Alright, that's cool. Um, two out of four boat parts done. Let me go check in my boat again. Alright, so when I upgrade, I'm probably going to get to Valor. People are like... I, the 5% or 10% extra speed is kind of irrelevant. When I do dailies, it's actually kind of annoying. So, <laughs> I think I'd want the cannon reload speed more. And I think I value that, like the cannon reload speed and probably the durability and rations a little bit higher than 5% speed. So, yeah, two out of four of these done. Get this done in like two days. We got the Moonbane fabric done. We'll probably get this on the way, just like... We'll probably get the 170 by next week. Working on the Brilliance now, and we have about 35 out of... Let me see, what do I actually have? So yeah, we need 170 of these, we'll just get them on the way. So just doing dailies, even if I don't do anything else, like active barter for it. We'll get them just by... Doing that. Moonbane Fabric, done, 34. I think I have another one on my Aquila character that I do dailies on. Yeah, 35, so... We'll get... Look, these, this one's done. This one, I'll just pretty much assume it's done because... Get them on the day... 10 days, have them done by dailies, working on the brilliance, which is actually the annoying part right now. And to get 42 of them, yeah, that's another two week or a week for that. But I'm still going to probably collect more afterwards because I need a lot of stuff for the plating, which is kind of annoying. I used a lot of memfrags today. And an 83 stack. Okay, so we started... 
Dude, we failed 28 times. Now that I think of it, we actually did fail 28 times on this. Unlucky. Yeah, 33 frosted stones. Uh, if today was an indication, we use about like 40 of them. Oh, nice. We're getting the blueprints. So I actually invested in a... I'll show you after I swap characters, but I invested in the nodes above Ilya because um, some of my friends who are already, they have their characters and they do sailing a lot. They're like helping me, they're telling me what to prep for. So it's not like once you get your Carrick, bam, you're going to have to be grinding. So it's like what they're telling me, I'll try to tell you guys in case you guys care about going for a Carrick too. Um, so... Around Ilya, I got these four nodes. One here, one here, one here, one here. And I connected them all the way to Velia, so that was 22 CP. So each one is one CP, connecting all of these. And then these four nodes right here, they're all excavation nodes, which means they're three CP each. So if you connect from Velia, it's 22 total CP. If you connect from Ilya, that's probably like 19 CP instead of 22. However, I would probably recommend connecting to Velia because you probably already have workers going from there and they're probably like artisan or professional already. So it makes things a little bit easier. So when you have all four excavation nodes, um, what they do is they give you blueprints for uh, upgrading Karak gear and it gives you start light powder. And what you use for those is, so like right now, I recently got the node a few days ago. And I'm working on just collecting the blueprints. And you only really need 10 of them, but that's not the point. Um, so when you go to Ilya Island 3 and the ship part thingy, so these are all carrot gear. And whether you get the Volante or the Valor, or to be honest, like literally any of them. Um... What you do with them is this is what you're going to be using when you upgrade green gear or green carrot gear to blue carrot gear. And yeah, so you're going to need the blueprints and then the upgrade permit, which is 1 billion silver in Port Neferia, which the silver itself is not the big deal here. It's collecting and upgrading everything else. So. Yeah, if you're looking to get a Carrick one day and you didn't know this, um, start investing CP into these nodes. Um, the Starlight Powder is... I think you use that to upgrade the Carrick gear. And so you buy these and combine them into Sunset Stones. And then that should be... Solar Blackstone, Lunar Blackstone. Yup. Let me take a screenshot. Alright, so I'm going to split the recording here, and then next time we're going to be doing some Rift bosses, and, and then after that we'll play Season character, and then maybe go sailing a little bit. So I'll see you guys in a minute.